President, we thank the High Commissioner for her comprehensive update. More than seven decades ago, the preamble of the UN Charter pledged the resolve of the peoples of the world to practice tolerance and to unite to maintain international peace and security. But regrettably, there is still much discrimination, intolerance, hate, sp hate speech, migration, and racing of which demonstrates the irrepressible value of the UN and its human rights mechanism. Massive displacement in the context of armed conflicts continue to constitute serious challenges to human rights. Encouraged by the High Commissioner's focus on the plight of the people on the move as a frontier issue in her Human Rights Appeal 2020, we reiterate our call upon the UN human rights mechanisms to take a principal stand for ensuring restoration of human rights of Azerbaijan IDBs and refugees. We welcome the increased attention by the High Commissioner focused on the prote protection of our environment. Azerbaijan is pleased to be among the countries with good practices in struggling air pollution and making dedicated efforts in this regard, as noted by the SR on human rights and the environment. In the light of the continuous cooperation between Azerbaijan and the OHCHR, the good examples of which are highlighted in the Human Rights Report 2018, Azerbaijan will increase the amount of its voluntary contribution this year to support the pivotal role of the office in delivering necessary technical assistance. I thank you.